fellow travelers out there. Uh, Kathy and I recently posted a video of our trip to Ellaville, Georgia. Our purpose for going to Ellaville was to go to the Ellaville Marketplace, which is a th thrift shop. We met the co-owner, Kathy Freeman, whom we knew from when she worked out at Magnolia Manor, where we live. We walk around the shop and we show you uh, the kind of merchandise they have there. Uh, we hope that you like this video. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, we invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you if you've already subscribed. Share this video with somebody that uh, might like thrift shopping vi uh, thrift shop videos. Kathy and I wish that you have a very, very blessed day. I'm Kathy Freeman, co-owner of Ellaville Marketplace. Welcome to the Marketplace. Isn't that gorgeous? I see. Yeah. Very happy when you I'll just show what's in here a little bit, honey. Um, Kathy wanted to know where the furniture was, so we uh, head through this little hallway into the next room. Kathy said that she had a table, just like this uh, little table with the fold up sides on it. Kathy was looking at this couch and she wanted to know how much it was and I think it was $200. Kathy saw this over here and she wanted to go look at it. It's a washer and dryer. Kathy asked me to look for the price on this and I looked but it was on layaway and it just did not have a, a, a price on it because I, I, I guess you know it didn't, it didn't need it. Kathy saw these two enamel cabinets like her grandmother used to have. Uh, Kathy demonstrated standing there making lemon pies. They had some really nice furniture, especially this, this chest, it was $350. Mm -hmm. We continue to look around. Kathy saw this little chair that she liked, uh, and they wanted $60 for it, I believe. We saw this brown couch. Kathy liked it too, but there was no price on it. It was on layaway. Then we saw this really nice baby crib. Uh, I think it was $40. We found this roll top desk. Kathy said she used to have one like it. I just fail to go over and look at the price tag. A 
There was also this really nice secretary type desk made out of maple. We continue to look around at the different types of furniture. Then down at the end of this, we found this green trunk. Uh, it was for $75. The next thing that caught our attention was this big wardrobe. Uh, looked really, really nice. The only thing there was a something missing in that door but it marked they'd marked it down from 65 to 50 dollars as we continued looking uh right as we exit this room there was a pair of uh scales Sorry about the camera angle. I got a little lax about video in here for a second or two. As we go back into the other building, we find a picture of Barney Fife. Kathy saw some Coke bottles when we talked about uh, collecting them uh, and either gathering them up and taking them to the store and selling them to make a little money. Kathy liked this little picture with the old house in it. Kathy was looking at some of the clothes and uh, we decided that if you shopped at thrift stores this might be a good place to come and look at some of their clothes. They look pretty nice. You're going to see a sign that says Pine Town which was the original name of this community but in Ryan, Georgia there's also a thrift shop there by the name of Pine Town. There's just one booth, at, booth after another. Uh, Kathy Freeman, the owner, said, that, I think she said there were 65 of these booths. Uh, a lot of stuff in each one of them. Interesting. Uh, and it, it's clean and, and well presented. Uh, we think you would like uh, going here and shopping. Kathy was attracted to this little pair of blue tennis shoes. We kept looking around and Kathy eventually found some pocketbooks, but they were too large. She said that the larger they were, the more you put in them and the heavier they were to tote around. We continued down this aisle toward the front of the store. It's just kind of hard to take all this stuff in. There's just a lot of stuff. Uh, some, like I said, some of it looks really, really nice. Uh, you can see what's there. Kathy found some more pocketbooks, by the way. There were a few people here today. Uh, we were there on a Friday, I believe. Friday afternoon.
but they were um, they sold um, Saturday afternoon. And I had to study their sex. I bought them for my husband's birthday. I was like, I was going to buy them for my wife. Now I feel really bad. But my husband was like, I bought them because they came in. Hey, how are y'all today? Fine, how are you? Just fine.